And today marks the return of king tides at our local beaches. It's something we will see along our coast through the weekend. News 8's Evan Arani is live in Imperial Beach with what we need to know, including the best spots to safely watch the king tides. And that is the key word. you got to be safe out there. They may be beautiful, but be careful. That's right. That is a very key word there. Sometimes king tides can go all the way into boardwalk areas. There are some communities up to the north of us that have coastal flood advisories in effect, so they can be dangerous, but there are safe places, of course, to view those king tides and low tide can also be a good time to go out and enjoy that uh, marine life in areas that you normally would be kind of inundated by water. So let's talk about the essence of these king tides. They usually come about twice a year, and it really just describes that huge swing in high and low tide. Uh, usually when we see the highest tide of the year is when we see king tides arrive and the lowest tides as well. So the tides usually coincide with a new or full moon since tides are created by that gravitational pull of the moon and sun. Tonight is the new moon in San Diego, so not a big surprise. It's also when we see the return of these tides. During low tide, there are beaches that of course can be packed with people exploring areas of the beach that would normally be filled with water. But during high tide, the threat of dangerous surf and flooding can can also be a concern. So in San Francisco, a coastal flood advisory is in effect for this weekend. They are expecting minimal flooding, but they do have that coastal flood advisory in effect just in anticipation for it. There are even some bike rides planned here in San Diego County to observe potential king tide flooding. Again, the good idea is to stay farther away from that water itself. If you're concerned about the water coming into the boardwalk area, for example, you want to go maybe another road in uh, to avoid it. There's also discussions to talk about climate change and how these king tides are likely to uh, coincide with what our normal tides are going to look like in maybe 20, 30, 40 years down the road. Uh, now, in addition to this, of course, there's a lot planned just across San Diego County. There are different uh, places that are great to watch where those tides are at any given time, and you can do so on our website. CBS8.com is a great resource, has a whole list of Oceanside, Carlsbad, and areas to go to watch those king tides. Now, the key thing to remember is that today, king tides are going to to come at 7:30, so high tide is expected at 7:30. We're expecting about a seven-foot tide around that time, 6.8 feet, and then low tide will come in the afternoon, just around 2:30 p.m. Uh, that big shift comes every single day, and you can uh, go onto our website for a list of when high tide and low tide is. Tomorrow, Saturday, is expected to show an even more dramatic shift between the two. So a good time to get outside and enjoy our local beaches, but as you mentioned, safely.